The rogue prosecutor movement stems from the basic idea that the entire criminal justice system is racist and as pro-criminal anti-victim zealots bought and paid for by George Soros and tech billionaires, they adopt pro-criminal policies. They choose large categories of crimes not to prosecute. In Fairfax County, which is near Washington, D.C., Steve Descano is the rogue prosecutor uh, elected in large part because of George Soros money. He, George Soros contributed 75% more or less uh, of the total amount of money Steve Descano got to his campaign. Without Soros money, Steve Descano and these other rogue prosecutors simply would not have been elected. The prosecutor in the American criminal justice system occupies a unique role. Her job is to enforce the criminal law of the state legislature as passed and signed by the governor or the federal law passed by Congress and signed by the president. Their job is to do justice, it's not to get convictions. We have an adversarial system in our country. You have strong, ethical prosecutors representing the people, and you have strong, zealous criminal defense attorneys representing those charged with crimes. Rogue prosecutors upend that. They uh, erase the wall between prosecution and defense by taking a pro-defense, anti-victim stance, refuse to enforce large swaths of crimes across the book under the guise of prosecutorial discretion. It has nothing to do with prosecutorial discretion. And as a result, crime explodes in the cities where they've been elected. For example, in Boston, uh, Rachel Rollins, the rogue prosecutor of Suffolk County, lists on her website 15 crimes you can commit in Boston. That includes possession with intent to distribute any drug, resisting arrest of a police officer, breaking and entering a house, the irony is that the people who are getting murdered and raped and robbed the most are black and brown poor people in the inner city. The very policies they promote are the policies that are causing death and destruction and rapes in the very cities they pretend to care about. Thanks so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss new content from The Daily Signal.